well, the hard problem of consciousness, in a sense, is really only a problem at all if one kind of buys into this this duality that we inherited from, you know, arguably back fr from Plato originally, but but from Cartesian thought, Rene Descartes, who who kind of made a very clear distinction, a division between what he called matter, which he defined as res extensa, which was this stuff that was extended, right? And, and which he presumed to be, to be just dead in a sense, which he presumed to not have any sort of uh, subjective mental experiential property to it. So he, he assumed that and then he put all of the sort of uh, mental uh, experiential idea kinds of notions in a different category, res cogitans. So, so this sort of dualism is, is something that we tend to forget that Descartes kind of came up with this or at least made it sort of official and went with that as a kind of a basis, a basic assumption of Western thought. And, and I, you know, I can't, kind of never really bought into that, although I recognize that this is a working structure that we've inherited in modernity. And of course, the irony is that if you, if one does sort of buy into that, and we're all kind of marinated in that, we, we kind of grow up thinking that, it seems obvious, many things seem obvious that may not be true, but, but it seems like an obvious way to, to kind of carve things up. And if you do that, then you naturally do get this hard problem of consciousness because the, the hard problem is simply saying, well, I'm, sp I'm starting with this dead matter, this supposedly pure res extensa, there's nothing conscious about it, so if I make different assemblages of more of this stuff, how am I going to get something out of it that's conscious? And that is the nature of the hard problem. Now, of course, if you don't buy into this idea that, that experiential, the experiential dimension is, is, devo is not part of what we call matter, if you don't buy into that, then there's actually no hard problem at all.